Hey everyone, Dave here. Welcome to Iron Strike Overview. I think this is supposed to be a spiritual sequel or a direct one to Iron Knights. Well, at least it's being made by the same dev team, so I'm treating it as such. <laughs> they definitely did in the complete different direction because the original one was like a simulator of slow-mo combat mechanics but on a small arena scale. But now we'll be literally wandering around in the open world and fighting with different people. Okay, that's a different approach. <laughs> so Iron Strike is a physics-based roguelike action game where you'll be traveling across the plains to restore the lost power to the gods and help them rejuvenate their whole world. The concept is so out there that I'm not even sure what I'm reading. So it's another roguelike, like the enthusiasm is really off the charts. <laughs> the more I watch the trailer, the more I don't really know what's going on really. <laughs> it's like you're wandering around in different environments and with everything that comes your way. They claim to have a physics based gameplay but I'm not sure if ragdolls and superhuman strength really count. Even the powering or deflections don't really have much to do with it so maybe they have a different definition of it? Because <laughs> I'm thinking like a blade and sorcery physics or any other combat game really. I don't think Iron Lights was going for that as well. The words themselves while shiny and kind of cool looking, they are pretty much empty, so there's not that much to look at. I don't really feel the need to travel big distances to reach the enemies and have some skirmishes in an open area where not much is going on. <laughs> there's gonna be some classes or rather different weaponry depending on your personal preference, then the upgrades and some sort of a progression system. The game also focuses on the co-op aspect, but of course I'm not able to test that out. Overall, there are a lot of question marks on the dev's decisions and if it's gonna be actually fun to play cause the genre is kinda like oversaturated, but maybe it's gonna bring something fresh to the table that I don't see it yet. <laughs> Let's go to the gameplay. We are somewhere with a sword and a shield at our disposal. To start an encounter. Focus. <laughs> the music. What's focus for? I like quick points. Oh yeah, there's a big difference. Don't follow me. I mean, it's an interesting sword mechanic, like. You can do a lot acrobatically.
I mean, the weak points are very well positioned, like, it's probably the most effective I've seen. So we're just traveling and uh, fight stuff. <laughs> What the? <laughs> Do I have durability? I need to be careful of what's going on. a shield person but it's very hard without it I wouldn't say this is like a physics based gameplay it's more like a directional movement because everything is just penetrating like there's no blockage. This is feels like an open world, though the terrain is like, see, growing once you progress. I mean, the lightning is kind of insane with the reflections and stuff. Just have a shield in your face and that's gonna be better. Those iron strikes are very effective and they work instantly, which is nice. <laughs> Always strength. Can I store it? Oh, 
Okay, that's better. <laughs> so, what's the goal? This is the last one. I mean, this is literally our lines, but in the open world scenario, like, let's not kid ourselves. I like it better in terms of the mechanics, though, so there's that. Oh. <laughs> Stop it. Get off me, mate! Oh yeah, this is hard. <laughs> I don't know if I'll defeat him. <laughs> Oof, my hand. Come on. <laughs> I can't fail now. <laughs> no, and so close. <laughs> Damn it! I wonder why I was supposed to die there, because I was really close. Of higher seems by your reload speed. Aha! Uh -huh. Just to stop with the spamming. The problem is that once they are stuck with you, you can't escape. Unless there are dashes that I did not notice. I mean, let's see how it works with the bow then. I'm assuming this is like a main menu. What? Welcome, child. I owe you my thanks. Already I am recovered enough to return you to life, should you ever fall in battle. You need not be your death. I will never let you come to harm. Well, I died, so... That's on you. Oh, this is a different environment. I thought I will come back to the same one. So you say I can't shoot more. Uh, 
That's instability zero. See, and now while they're here, I just keep running, I guess. And try to judge. Okay, that's nice. And I think that's pretty much it, like there's not much else going on. But the core gameplay, I guess it's pretty neat. <laughs> I'm just awkwardly waiting for the arrow. <laughs> and it's a nice solution, but... Breaks my tempo. Though, do not feel... Overpowered, I mean, I get it. Oh, I can hit the projectiles as well. It's like there is a lot of good choices. Wow. <laughs> like I said, the environments aren't crazy, but I guess that's not the main point. Like the wrench really upgrades. Where am I? <laughs> the indicator for power shop could be less subtle, like more loud. Kinda of distracting that it straightens out. What the? <laughs> Is it worth it though to wait? In terms of DPS. <laughs> So when I move, I reload faster. Interesting. What the hell do you even? That should be the boss stage again. The crystal that's sending it. Oof, I don't see it for me. Ok, 
Can I block with a ball? Oh, he's not hitting me at all. Okay. <laughs> so I need to use this <laughs> bug or hidden feature. Am I because it's too fast or something? Oh, I can do it backwards. Haha, <laughs> can't catch me. The fast arrows are still better. Oh, overall they are better. Crossbows. It's just a ball for me. Okay, well, I get the game already. The better question is, do the weapons persist? Or disappear at all? <laughs> I think the game is fine by me, in terms of the mechanics and just the whole gameplay loop. It's definitely made for co-op, like, I don't see myself playing alone and just progress, cause that seems a bit boring. It's a very basic premise, you upgrade stuff, you progress, fight bosses and that's basically it, so the complexity is not necessarily there, but the base thing is already pretty solid and I'm not sure if it's gonna be anything better than that. It was a bit confusing uh, beforehand making the intro for this game, but it redeemed itself and it's a decent roadshow like with just, you know, combat mechanics. 